Hey guys, Gaston from Connecting Tennis here. Welcome to another video. It's a little bit cold today, around 7 a.m. here. The only way we can find uh, a court empty to, to record. So I want to do this video for you guys today talking in something that I probably talk a lot and I made last week a video talking about the little secret for the spin. But today I want to work in the forehand, the spin versus the flat because there was a lot of people asking you know after they made the that secret video with the spin a lot of people asking how would be the difference between the forehand where we talk about the dropping to hit a spin and how would be the approach to hit more like a flat forehand i'm gonna i talk about that on the on the footwork course uh, that i launched this year but i'm gonna talk again about this and i want to show you the difference okay on both balls how the racket path moves you know once you make the setup to hit the ball so let's get to the video all right so before we get into the hitting i just wanna when i make the video of the one-handed backhand spin versus flat if you haven't seen it i'm gonna leave the link in the description if you have one-handed handed you wanna see the spin versus flat just go check it out but here we're gonna talk kind of like the same you know in my case when i'm gonna hit with a spin first i will have a different engagement with the legs and of course my racket is gonna drop like we talk i'm gonna put a slow motions from the side on this so you guys can see and then there are difference is that when you're gonna hit flat your follow through okay you're not gonna drop too much of course because you don't want to create the spin you're gonna come more in a linear way okay once you take the racket behind and then the follow through it's gonna be different, okay? More extended because you don't want to, to rotate the hand to put a spin on the ball. I especially, like I said in the, on, the court, on the forehand course, I especially use the flat forehand more when I get into the rise, you know, the ball on the rise maybe uh, from an inside out or when I'm running, okay? Just like a running forehand outside of the court, kind of like a last resource ball and I just throw the hand into the ball, maybe cross court down the line. But it's still from there, I still play a lot of spin to find a, a short angle there in case I need, in case my opponent needs at the net at the moment, all right? So I'm gonna show now and show you a couple of balls from the side and you will see how the difference, okay? It's really, really marked into my hitting. Right, so there you could see in a slow motion and fast motion the difference okay I, I try to make it as much uh, exaggerated as possible but keeping it real so I was just actually hitting you know balls from a hand real fit and you can see there how you know I was not transferring weight or anything I just wanted you to focus on the things I mark you know how you how here I bend more I come more from under, you see my, my hips engaging a little more from under to then go up. Okay, this movement, and you can see the finish of the stroke, how I hit the ball, maybe here from the side you can see better, how I hit the ball with my tip of the racket a little more coming from under, and then I go kind of like in a, like a wiper, okay, in the same line, and with the flat, you can see that I hit the ball a little more in front, okay, and I, I, I tried to go forward. I mean, I didn't follow through with my leg, but you can see how more extended I am in front and how the hand keeps going a little more. And it's, it's not just an impact and a wiper. It's more like an impact. And actually you wanna, you know, you wanna kind of like penetrate, you know, just go through the ball a little more aggressive. 
those balls from behind, if we have this as the court, okay, net, those balls are gonna be one like this, what we want with the spin, and a high bounce after. So as much as you can accelerate here in this pronation, is as much spin as you're gonna be able to put, okay, hand speed. And the flat one will go more like a linear ball, okay? Of course, it's gonna have some net clearance depending where I get it. But one of the things important, you know, important things here is you're not gonna try to hit a flat ball from under the level of the ball. When we talk about flat, we want just more like a linear ball. So like I told you before hitting, I like to hit those balls, okay? On the forehand course, there were a ton of balls and examples with that we, we talk an entire model about it. But you know, I, I want you to get the ball from the net height and above. Because what you're actually looking at, when I like as a player and to tell to my players to hit a flat ball is when the ball, it's over. I like it mid chest and up where I can kind of like get on the ball and just punish forward and make a ball going down. Okay, rarely you will see me hitting a flat ball from my hips height, all right? From here, for me, it's all the spin, creating a space is heavy balls. Now, if you let the ball short and high, yes, I'm gonna get in and punish the ball flat. All right, guys, that's, that was it for today. Just wanna remind you, I have a free ebook with the strategies for your game of serve. Again, you know how important it is to have a great first, second serve, but if you have no idea what you're gonna do on the second ball, you're not prepared with a strategy, you're not gonna know what to do. So it's a free ebook, about 20 pages. You can get the link in the description. If you guys like the video, please like it, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you didn't. I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys.